Sport has a magical way of uniting people from every corner of the world, and from time to time, history is made. From penalty shootouts to Olympic gold, we revisit some of sport's most iconic moments. 2014 was a huge year for the Rabbitohs fans, with their dreams of premiership glory finally coming true. Souths had a rocky start to the season, sitting in 14th after four rounds, but the leadership of coach Michael Maguire and captain John Sutton managed to push them up to a third place finish. The Rabbitohs then thrashed the Bulldogs 30-6 in front of more than 83,000 grand final fans, winning their 21st Premiership after an epic 43-year drought. The emotional scenes here, enough to make us all cry. There are many household names in the golfing world, but there is only one Tiger Woods. After years of struggling with various injuries, a few years back gave the 82-time champion a hunger to return to glory at the 2019 Masters. Sitting four strokes behind first-round co-leaders Bryson DeChambeau and Brooks Koepka, Woods carved up the Augusta National, with the impossible suddenly within reach. After a tremendous weekend, Woods secured his fifth green jacket and cemented one of the greatest performances in golfing history. Cadell Evans kicked off a golden age in his chosen sport, quickly becoming an Aussie cycling icon. After finishing outside the top 20 in the 2009 and 2010 Tour de France tournaments, Evans pulled off the unthinkable in 2011. The Aussie almost single-handedly chased down rival Andy Schleck in the final stages of the tournament, becoming the first Aussie rider to win the yellow jersey in the tournament's history. Tennis only has four Grand Slam tournaments, making a major the highest honour in the sport. Novak Djokovic already held 23 of those honours when he entered Flushing Meadows for the 2023 US Open. The Serbian superstar blitzed the tournament and advanced to the final, where he defeated Daniil Medvedev in a straight sets masterclass and took his 24th Slam title. The win saw Djokovic break the men's record and equal Margaret Court's title of most Grand Slam wins, once again reigniting the tennis goat debate. I tell you what, any boss who sacks anyone for not turning up today is a bum. <laughs> In 1983, a US juggernaut was slayed and history was made. Of course, it's Australia 2's victory in the America's Cup. The start of the competition didn't bode well for the Aussies, down 1-3 in the seven-race final. The team entered Newport, Rhode Island as the ultimate underdogs, but our nation had a secret weapon, a new winged keel. The innovative design was kept hidden until the very last moment, but it was leadership and dedication that catapulted Australia 2 to victory, breaking 132 years of dominance from the United States. The Matildas had the nation in the palm of their hands at the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, putting on a stellar performance throughout the tournament. After a tense, goalless 120 minutes of play against France, victory could be decided in the penalty shootout. After 20 kicks in front of a roaring home crowd, Courtney Vine wrote the Matildas into the football history books, slamming the ball into the net and knocking out France to advance to the semi-finals. First ball in test cricket in England for Shane Warne. And he's done it. He started off with the most beautiful delivery. The cricket gods have a favourite son, and that son is Shane Warne. Warne's debut against England in the 1993 Ashes series proved why he is one of the greatest spin bowlers to ever wear the baggy green. With just his very first delivery against England's Mike Gatting, Warne ripped the ball from outside leg stump to clip the top off the bales. It is still referred to as the ball of the century more than 30 years later. The Sydney Olympics had many memorable moments, but none quite as epic as Australia's triumph in the 4x100 metre freestyle relay. The US had dominated the last seven contests, and it looked like the team was ready to add an eighth goal to its collection. The Aussies took an early lead, holding off the Americans by a tenth of a second, before Ian Thorpe was passed by US swimmer Gary Hall Jr. at the 350 metre mark. In a tense finish, Thorpe managed to catch Hall, with the foursome of Michael Klim, Chris Feidler and Ashley Callis snatching gold for the host nation and creating a new world record of 3 minutes and 13 seconds. In 2005, one strike of John Aloisi's left boot changed the nation forever. After falling 1-0 to Uruguay in the first leg of the 2006 FIFA World Cup, Qualifiers. The Socceroos managed to tie the score on aggregate, beating the South American nation 1-0 in the second leg. It all came down to penalties in the final qualifier, and Aloisi had the world on his shoulders as he lined up for Australia's final hope. The forward slotted the ball into the back of the net and booked Australia its ticket to Germany after sitting on the World Cup sidelines for 32 agonizing years.
An iconic Sydney Olympic Games win saw Kathy Freeman become the nation's golden girl. Freeman had previously competed in three consecutive games, taking home a silver medal at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, but 2000 was her year. After lighting the cauldron at the opening ceremony, Freeman sailed through the 400 meter heats, destroying the competition in her final run. The Queensland sprinter bet Lorraine Graham and Catherine Merry across the finish line, taking gold in front of a roaring home crowd. Freeman carried both the Aboriginal and Australian flags on her victory lap, forever immortalizing what would be the greatest moment in Australian sporting history.